Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profood Extensions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL event tutorial for beginners. This is our part 7. Inside this video session guys, we will see about some basic commands of events as well as we will see about manual tool to create our events in MySQL server. So far we have seen inside our MySQL event tutorial about that how can we create about one time event as well as recurring event and so many cases we have discussed so far. Now inside this video we are going to see some basic commands of events. So what does it mean? It means that we have two commands like so events from db name. It means we have suppose a database. Inside our database we have called 500 or 1000 of events and if you want to list all the events we will use this command. So if I back to a MySQL server. So let's say that we have a database called hmvc underscore book and inside this database as we know that we have created some events. So if I go to event section open into a new tab and right now we have two events but right now these are in disabled states. So if we go to the next tab, go to SQL tab and let's show event from hmvc underscore book. So here we have passed the database name and this is not event, this is all about events. So, so events from our database name. So, if I press Ctrl Enter or Go button, now as you can see that this is our database, this is our event name, definer and all the informations actually related with our events, we can find all these inside this list. If we scroll bit more, now inside this also we can see about the status column something. These are the two events basically right now disabled mode. So that's why here it is disabled. Also we have informations like that these are one time event or recurring in the type column. So basically this is the command actually to list all the events from our database. Now next we have one more command and this command basically to drop an event basically from our event list. So let's say that we have multiple events inside our database right now as we can see that we have two events. So let's say we are going to delete or drop this event 10 from this list. So how can we drop that? So copy the event name, go to our SQL tab and let's say that drop event and we have to pass the event name so as simple as that but let's say that if we want to check that this event basically exists or not so for that we generally add called if exists so drop event if exists this is our event name so let's say that we are going to drop this event if I press Control enter now this command executed but remember this event does not exist to our list. So these two events, these two events basically remains to our list. Now let's say that if we change about this command, so copy this command back to SQL tab and let's say that I want to delete call event underscore 10 and this event exists inside our list. Now if I press Control enter or go button query executed successfully, go to the list and reload this page. Now as we can see that one time event from this list is now erased totally from this event list. So this is all about our first part that is some basic commands to see inside our event. Let's discuss about the second point called manual tool to create events. As we had discussed in our previous videos that we have two options to create event inside MySQL server. One by using code and second by using manual tool. So how can we create events? called something type recurring or one time using manual tool. So let's say that we are now currently on our database page. This is our database and these are two tables. So how can we create that? So back to more section or if I reconfigure about the font size now this is the actual size of our home page means the output screen. So here inside this more 
we have events inside this list. So if I press event from this list, go here. Now inside this list, as we can see that add event or hyperlink is there. So just press on that. After pressing, a model will be opened. Now inside this model, basically we have to fill some information while creating any event from this pop-up. So before creating by this manual tool, if we go to the slide, open a new tab and let's say firstly create about one time event via code. So let's say create event. Here we have to pass the event name. So let's say 101. Now we have called on schedule. And here let's say that when we are going to create our one time event at current time stamp. So let's say at current time stamp also we can specify some interval of time so let's say interval let's say 5 and this is all about second so this is our trigger time and also while completing if you want to preserve this event so on let's say completion and something preserve and finally we have to pass our body section so this is the syntax to create one time event now let's say that here we have to write statements now let's say for recurring event so recurring event and here we need to specify called create event and let's say event underscore 102 and here we have to write call on schedule and here we have to pass our time so let's on schedule every we have to pass every here and let's say 2 second. It means that this will execute after every 2 second. It will basically starts. Let's say that at current time stamp. So it should be current underscore time stamp and ends at so let's say ends. Let's say current underscore time stamp. Let's say plus interval let's say 30 second and only we have to pass our body section so let's say here all about our statements if we want to make completion preserve only this line we have to copy and paste right here so this is all about the syntax to create our recurring event so if we back to our manual tool now inside this tool firstly we have to pass our event name go to the syntax this is our event name so copy that go here and pasting now inside this status obviously we want to enable this event so it should be enabled or we have two more options called disabled or sleep side disabled so we want to enable this event now here we have called event type so here we have two type called recurring or one time so let's say that we want to create one time event so we have to select one time and here we have to pass execute at it means that this is the time actually what we have specified inside this command so we need to actually specify about execute time it means what time basically this event will be triggered so we have to select from this date time picker here we have to select date or here we have to select call hour minute second millisecond and microsecond so this is all about scheduling time and finally we have to pass our body section inside this definition now here we have called a checkbox called on completion preserve as we know that adding on completion preserve inside this syntax we are going to preserve after completing this event so if we check this checkbox it means that this event will remain in, into the system while completing so this is all about creating our one time event let's say that we are going to create recurring event this time so it should be 102 enabled and it is type of recurring now inside this recurring now as we can see that we have some more text boxes so what basically they are if we go here now execute every 
as we know that here we have to specify call on schedule every 2 seconds. It means we are going to write 2 and let's say here it should be 2 second. So this will basically tells us that this event will execute after every 2 second. After that we have to add call start and time sorry start and end. Basically these are the two timings what we have specified right here as we to start with this time and end with this time. So these are the two timings actually we have to set inside these boxes. Same these are also date time picker. After filling all this scheduling time finally we have to pass our definition body inside this text area. After writing this body section, now we have called a checkbox call on completion preserve. So we have discussed multiple times about these things. So this is the manual tool by the help of which we can create our one time event or recurring event. So basically guys inside this video, if you have any doubt inside this video then please drop your comment, I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.